All right, here it is. The world's most powerful crypto miner, mining Caspa, the world's best cryptocurrency. The Bitmain KS5 Pro, 21 terahash, straight from Hong Kong. We're about to be unboxing it, setting it up. I'm gonna take you guys through what pool to use and how to get the uh, GUI up and running as well. So we can start pulling in more than a thousand fresh Caspa per day. It's over $140 a day with this miner. All right, I've got her opened up here. Let's see what's inside. Paperwork. Rare for Bitmain to send anything other than a plain miner. Oh, interesting. On that note, we actually got a power cord. So this uses that same power cord as the S21 and the T21. I think that's called a, a P13 to the standard C20, C19 mail there. So in here, we've got the normal packaging that these folks do. Pretty good job. And there it is. Ant Miner KS5. I'm gonna get this out of the packaging for you guys and I'll walk around, show you the miner itself. All right, here she is, unpackaged, sitting, waiting to start printing money. Bitmain Ant Miner KS5 Pro, 21 tera hash a second on K heavy hash, Caspa algorithm at only 3,150 watts. So I'm gonna get this thing plugged in and uh, get it mining. Now I do have a Fruition Designs kit that I'm gonna try and put on here and some of these new fan spoofers that use the four pin, uh, similar to like PCIe uh, type uh, connectors on the control board. But I'm not doing that today. I wanna get this up and running, start seeing that it's working, make sure that we're getting some solid returns from Caspa especially before this next leg up. And uh, then we'll go from there. Maybe I'll finish the uh, fruition designs and, and get the fan spoofers put in this weekend so we can use one of those AC Infinity fans and see how powerful this thing really is with some legitimate cooling solutions. So I'm gonna get this out to my garage, get it plugged in, and uh, we'll see you guys at the uh, computer setting up the GUI. All right, guys, here it is out in the garage. I apologize about the noise here. I've got my GPU miners and a bunch of nodes and CPU miners running here as well. But there it is, our Bitmain Ant Miner KS5 Pro 21 terahash. You'll see I've already got some ducting work set up and the AC Infinity fan sitting there ready for that fruition designs kit to get this thing really cool and properly. But for now, just get it up and running, do some testing, make sure it works. I've just got the exhaust of the miner fans itself, stock setup, pushing straight into the intake of that AC Infinity so my garage doesn't overheat too much. So I am going to get this thing plugged in right now. You guys will be able to see live. I'm sure you'll hear the ridiculous whines of these uh, stock fans in a second here. So give me just a minute, I'll plug this in and uh, we'll be right back with a functioning KS5 Pro. All right, here she is booting up. You can hear those manufacturer stock fans whining really loud as they ramp up. And now they've gone quiet as it finishes the, the boot process of that firmware. We've obviously still got them spinning. Oh no, they're actually completely off. This is interesting. We usually don't see fans spin down 100% from Bitmain. I'm quite hopeful we see these pick right back up and start spinning. Not a great sign. Hopefully these KS5 Pros just work this way. Ah, success, there it is. So we've got spinning fans. You can obviously hear them better than you can see them. But this is running. She's working, she's screaming. I'm gonna get into the computer and see if I can figure out an IP address and uh, start setting this baby up. All right, so here we are at the Bitmain Antminer KS5 Pro 
uh, web GUI uh, to set up the pool, wallet, and any settings we may want to change. Uh, so to find this, you've got to go to the local IP address on your uh, local network. Uh, you can find that either using your router's web GUI and looking at the connected devices, or you can go to um, a IP scanner, uh, something like uh, Angry IP Scanner. That's what I used here to find this. So you download this, you install it, open it up, run an IP scan, and it'll tell you the IP address of every device on your network. Um, so I found out the IP address of the uh, Antminer, and here it is. You type it into your browser, uh, the IP address by itself, no HTTP or .com or anything, just the IP address in the address bar of your browser, and it'll take you here. Now, default login for Bitmain machines is root as the username, R-O-O-T, all lowercase, and same thing as the password, so R-O-O-T for the password as well. So root, root, and that'll take you in right here. So we can see this Antminer has not been set up. There's no details. It's just how it comes straight from the factory. Uh, it's not currently mining. So what we need to do is go into settings and update the pool information, as well as give our miner a name, any password if you want. You can change fan speed here. Um, you'd have to check this box and then edit that manually. I don't do this. Um, as we talked about, eventually I'm gonna get some fan spoofers on this and set up the Fruition Designs Kit and the uh, AC Infinity Blower attached to that. So we won't have any need to play with these fan settings. Um, and here you can go to you know, IP address settings, change to a static if you wanna be able to find it easier in the future. Um, give you all the details right there. In system, you have a, uh, an opportunity to change the password. Highly recommend this. Again, current password default from Bitmain is root, R-O-O-T. I'm going to set up a custom one here, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's just hit save on that. Many times it logs you out, makes you log right back in. Yep, so now we can see username's still gonna be root, and that password is whatever you just changed it to here. So now I'm signed back in. Last setting that you could change here is firmware upgrades. Um, don't mess with anything at the factory, get it hashing, see see what how, how things work out before you start, start playing with firmware upgrades or overclocking. So I'm using Humpool here. Uh, it's where I've got my two KS3Ms that are in hosting. Uh, so I'm going to use the exact same setup information that I've got on those. Um, so I'm going to get that put in here and then uh, get right back to you. All right, here we are back at the Antminer web GUI. You can see that it is up and running and hashing, has been hashing for about 12 minutes. So not much information on the pool side just yet although it is showing up. If we look here, uh, as you saw before, we had the two KS3Ms that are in hosting at Revolution Mining, uh, and now we've got the Argon KS5 Pro. We're seeing 14 tera hash on the 15 minute, obviously only three on the one hour. This thing has only been hashing for, what, 13 minutes now. So uh, we've got a little time to wait till we see updated information on the pool side, but seeing 14, almost 15 tera hash a second already is huge. Uh, so I'm very, very excited to get this up and running and uh, glad I was able to show everyone how to how to do it in case you have one. Um, if you are looking into these, I use Mind the ASIC to talk about profitability, ROI, uh, even to get some of the best rates or links on actual purchase prices. Um, I've used... Uh, ASIC uh, Miner Exchange, uh, ASIC Marketplace, excuse me. Uh, ASIC Miner Exchange is this one right here. Uh, but ASIC Marketplace is a US vendor that I've used before. Um, I actually bought this unit from Vipera Tech uh, because of the price was so high, I wanted to be able to use uh, fiat currency so I could go to the bank if there was any issue or if I didn't get it, pre-order never came through, something like that. It's a lot easier to call American Express and complain than it is to try and get your crypto refund. Um, so yeah, use use Mind the ASIC. Take a look at this. I mean, right now I should be pulling in about $125 a day. Uh, obviously, that's based on current cast price and current difficulty, both of which are going to change drastically from hour to hour sometimes. Um, 
But what I look at when I'm mining Caspa specifically, Caspa and Bitcoin, is what is the value I expect the coin to go to in the near term future? And is it profitable to mine at that rate? So when I look at Caspa, I a dollar Caspa is happening in 2024. That's my personal opinion, not financial advice. But that's a thousand dollars a day mining with this Bitmain KS5 Pro. So I'm mining, mining and hodling. I'm not selling. I have no intention of selling. Um, try my best to get to shark status with with Caspa here. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is the first time I've ever filmed any type of video, YouTube video. TikTok, I just don't do it, um, at least historically, but I'm getting into it and I'm excited to it. I'm hoping to make more of these videos. I've got, you know, 10 plus different deep in projects that I've set up around the house and, and community, things like helium miners and GeoNet and uh, I mean, the list goes on. I've got some GPU miners you saw in this video. So hopefully I can get you guys some more content. Um, if you like it, like, like the video comment tell me i should do another one um if you hate it tell me to stop doing it i'd love to get some feedback uh maybe this just isn't for me or maybe maybe it is but uh, i'll let you guys decide so let me know what you think and uh, i hope you guys have a great evening morning afternoon wherever the hell you are and uh you know not financial advice but start mining that's what i'm doing